All right, it is three o'clock, and it is time that I reveal something else. So I had contemplated doing this the same way I did A Link to the Past, with, um, you know, the co-commentary of every dungeon thing. I'm ultimately deciding against that, though, for now, for a couple of reasons. Um, mostly because I don't think there's, like, a high demand for that particular style. Oh, cool, so I'm gonna burst. Um, for that particular style, you know, the one-to-one. -one. Maybe, like, a couple people. But I, like, as a general rule, you know, it wasn't, like, a high-demand kind of thing. So, like, can I skip the latter part? No. This is Strike 2. It's also the same slow box that is unskippable until the text is fully complete that stops your game to tell you that you can climb up a wall. You didn't know that because Nintendo said you didn't. Um, oh, right, the long I haven't seen the long chest anyway. I know it's happened with the Kokiri sword, but like, I haven't seen this in a while, so I'm like, I'm floored by it because I'm in main debris. Um... But yeah, no, I, I didn't think there was like a high demand. Oh, yeah, this one. We're, we're dead stopping you to tell you that you don't know how a context sensitive button works. You didn't know that because we said you didn't. Um, yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of demand um, for that necessarily. It would be a good thing to get the COCOM spirit back up um, with COCOMing each dungeon like I did a link to the past. So you get a true echo. But, um, I may have another Zelda in store because there were multiple candidates for, uh, this particular part of the anniversary. And, um, considering what may or may not have happened with Mega Man 2's editing, um, the, the one-to-one -one echo thing didn't really work out in the first place, so, um, going about, why am I checking? This isn't a check. This isn't a rando. This is like a recovery heart. This isn't rando. Get out of rando, brain. I'm playing casual, and I don't do that very often. Um, so I didn't think there was, like, a lot of demand for the co-coming every dungeon in this game specifically. I wouldn't want to subject whoever got stuck in this dungeon to, like, you know, my griping about mechanics, or worse yet, dogpiling on said mechanics and making the tone even more negative than I would have liked. Um, as I as I said in the last part, I don't necessarily have a fond recollection of liking this game. I love this game. I don't like it. Does if that makes any sense at all? Um, also, I couldn't get rid of the flashing by switching to the other version of Bizhawk that I used for Rando. Whoops! So it's just gonna happen sometimes, and I apologize. Um, not much I can really do about that. I don't typically need to use the slingshot to, um, kill those things. In fact, usually I don't have the slingshot when I'm coming here at all. Uh, it's, it's kind of not necessary. Um, <laughs> but yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get these chests, even though they're not necessary. I could just, like, finish the dungeon right now and everything would be fine. But, um, we're gonna do this anyway because rando brain muscle memory compels me. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is do this, like this, so we're gonna get our way back out. Is this where Navi's gonna stop and tell me I don't know how a switch works? No, okay. This is gonna be our compass, if I recall. more fancy long opening. Um, right, I went on three different tangents. The Cocom thing is cool. I would have liked to have done it for this project, and I thought about it, but I would have to have arranged a lot of that stuff in advance. And considering I stopped the... Oh, right, you haven't picked up a seat. You don't know what slingshot bullets are because we say you don't. Um, considering, like, I stopped the Cocom thing in the first place, finding, like... Five or six, or wait, no, way more than that. Three, um, plus six, plus one. So finding like ten, uh, you know, COCOM buddies, distinct COCOM buddies, and arranging time to record while I am not actively streaming is difficult. 
but I'm not abandoning the idea full stop. I'm going to revive it in a different project down the line. Just please look forward to it, is all I can say. Um, so that's just a recovery heart, but we're gonna need the thing it's attached to. So first off, it's a little noisy in here. So I'm gonna just like keep those guys. These gold sculptures are gonna be important later. I'm not gonna get all 100 of them. I've decided this is not 100%. If there's like hyper mega ultra demand for it on the conclusion of this project, then maybe I'll go back and do a bonus video. But right now, not really. Um... So this this whole bottom part of the dungeon is optional. Um, I've decided I'm abandoning the tangents. I'll come back to them, but first, the bottom part of this is optional. There's a cool little thing you can do. Like, you, you edge yourself just so here. And there's better videos, like, on YouTube and stuff that explain it, so, like... Okay, so I'm not facing too far left. It's, like, a weird groove. And you line it up like like this kind of. Something like that. And then you would jump and grab the ledge and you can just skip the entire thing. I'm not very good at it and I didn't practice that trick because I haven't played this rando like recently. I used to play it all the time and then I just didn't. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, I should go kill that Baba first. That Deku Baba. Cool. Um, so like there are a lot of tricks I know and a lot I don't. Like super sliding I'm not familiar with, but I can bomb jump. Um, the one skip here I can do with bombs, but I'm not gonna get those in time, so. Uh, yeah. I have to add you to this dungeon, but that probably makes for better content anyway. Wow, you are you are talking in slow text, okay. But yeah, the main the main thing is I didn't want to like subject someone to the great Deku trees. Um I'm whining a lot. But also finding ten people um and scheduling everything. Like ten plus years ago, th that wasn't that much of an issue. Like, I, I was terminally online like I am now, but I didn't do, like, much anything else. Listen. Hey, by the way, we're stopping you to tell you once again that you don't know how to press the A button. You didn't know that because we said you didn't. By the way, you missed your cycle. Um, so yeah. By the way, you don't actually have to dive down there at all. There are some tricks I'm gonna just, like, be doing. By the way, you didn't know how to push the A button. The, if you press the A button, when it says to do a thing, the thing that it says you're going to do, you're going to do when you press the A button. I've explained this three times and stopped your game three times to do really slow text to tell you how a context-sensitive button works. You didn't know that because we said you didn't. Anyway, that's why I don't think this game is aged well. The vanilla Ocarina of Time experience. Um... <laughs> You have to go through this every time you want to replay it. And, um... I've decided I want Deku Nuts, actually. Um... Like, the game itself is fine, but just that stopping the game to do really slow text to tell you how a context-sensitive button works three times in one dungeon is a little excessive, in my opinion. Anyway, that guy doesn't come down. And, um, if you walk into this room, those things drop down and, and I guess are the closest thing this dungeon has to a mini boss. Other dungeons will actually have proper mini bosses, but like, there we, there it is, the mini boss. Um, and we're gonna do this. We're gonna, we might, if I, if there's demand, I'll do the small toys and everything else. I can leave you one I decided I won't. I can show some mercy to, to something that is firmly rooted in place and not a threat to me. Um, 
A lot of people hold this game in very high regard. To them, I say it is okay to like things. It is okay to have favorites. Nostalgia is a very good thing. Remembering, like, because when I played this game as a kid, it was magical. But, like, replay it. Re replay this game vanilla. Maybe, maybe people have more patience than I do. I very characteristically have very little patience, and that's gotten better over the years. But replaying vanilla Ocarina of Time is is just a lot of this. You know, there's a lot of you didn't know how a button worked because we said you didn't very early on. And then the plot, um, we well, you know, I'll criticize that later. So yeah. Th this game is just really slow, is the best way I can put it. It's very slow to get going. The game itself is fun. I, I like this game, how it plays. I have a lot of nostalgia for it. But, um... There you go. Um... You know, I have a lot of nostalgia. I have a lot of positive feelings about this game. But... You know, at the same time, there, there's a lot that, you know, if this were released today, it would be critically panned for how heavy handed it is about you don't know how a context sensitive button works. And I guess there's an argument to be had of, well, for the time, but it's yeah! like, even kid me who was dumb and like half read understood what context sensitive buttons were. And I was a literal child. So, um, the argument only goes so far. Anyway, I did a jump attack with a stick out. I will explain this, actually. Um, so, there's a little glitch called Power Crouch Stab, where a crouch, so we're, we're like, holding your shield out and pressing the, the, the sword button, will do the last bit of physical damage. We'll do the same damage to whatever you did. Which, in this case, is a jump attack from a Deku Stick. A Deku Stick does more damage than your Kokiri Sword. So a Jump Attack does more damage than a normal attack. So three Deku Stick Jump Attacks kills the boss. And um, I almost messed it up too, which would have been kind of funny. But yeah, that's, that's the dungeon. You know, an argument to be had of the time and whatnot. But like, you know, if, if literal child me who was dumb could figure out how a context sensitive button works I don't think everyone needed to be stopped three times gameplay dead stopped with slow unskippable text of this is what the A button does that's my gripe with this game that is like one of two major gripes of the game this is going to start the second and I'll keep it going I'll just like go ahead and keep it on pace I don't have a problem with the game's plot itself what I have is, you know how it stopped you three times to, to, to tell you the exact same information of button is context sensitive and how button works is how button works? The game does that with the plot. It goes over this bit two or three times of, of Ganon, specifically this riding through the fire cutscene. We see it a few times. And like we go through the, 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 the Ganondorf is evil and the Sacred Realm holds the Triforce bit, we, we go over like three or four times. The game spends a lot of its real estate in cutscenes telling you this exact plot point multiple times. This is where it gets from a narrative standpoint because I don't think you need, like, if a child is capable of following plot not even to an analytical level, but I mean just like following plot, they're gonna get it the first time. Whereas, you know, someone who is older and a lot more plot analytical recognizes right away, you've told us this already. And with like maybe a different perspective or spin on it. It's abridged in later versions, or later cutscenes. It's abridged. It's not literally this whole exact cutscene, but it goes over the goddesses in the sacred realm in the Triforce with long, slow cutscenes multiple times. Now, my point isn't to gripe that this is a bad game, because it isn't. My point is, I, 
this is probably the last time in my life I will play this game vanilla. Unless I do, like, another challenge run or something. But I've done three hearts, so... I don't know, like, what other challenge runs I could theoretically even do. Now, the reason I'm going over this now is because it's gonna come up again really, really soon. And I want to get all the griping out while I can, and at the beginning of the next part, unfortunately, is gonna be, the, like, some of the last of it. Afterwards, I swear I will enjoy this game for what it is. But I have to get my opinion about the game out now. Because so many people ask me why I don't hold this as high as other Zelda games on my favorites list. These first few parts of the Let's Play should kind of answer that. And yeah, so Ganon Evil... Ganon want Triforce, blessed by Goddess. Now, is it a gross oversimplification of the plot? Absolutely. People could start, you know, shaking their stick at me for the games that I do like that could be oversimplified to the same degree. But, I'm going to point it out here because of the way it is, it is presented. Extremely heavy-handed and repetitive. And again, I loved this game as a child when it first came out, and I've beaten it a number of times. I do think this is a good game worthy of the praise that it got for its time. But to people that say it still holds up, play it again, Vanilla. If you have more patience than me and can get over the, you know, literally stopping to, stopping, taking the controller out of your hands for 10 seconds to tell you how the A button works, I don't feel that holds up. <laughs> That's just me, though. Anyway, this is the death of the Great Deku Tree. It's not like the most emotional thing in the universe, but it is pretty poignant that this is how the game starts. One of the first things that, like, talks to you and in lore guides Link and has from, like, all of his conscious awareness life has just died and we're just starting. Could be metaphorical for innocence loss. I don't know. <laughs> 